If you're looking for a solid farming build for Ultima Fiesta, then you should watch this. What's going on everybody? In this video I'm going to show you my Ultimate Fiesta farming build. I can't take credit for this build because I got it from a very good friend of mine, Dragonheart Studio. Not only is Dragon a near and dear friend of mine, he also does all my art for my streams and my thumbnails. So if you're looking for a great artist, and in my opinion the best out there, check out his link below to his Twitch channel which has a links to all his other socials including his Discord. If you do decide to check him out, tell him KG sent you. Okay, first the reactors and the components. We run a frozen singularity reactor, the thunder cage mounting. Yes, this reactor could be better, but for farming it gives me chill and the singular skill boost. And down below I've got dimension skill power as well as chill skill power. Again, this could be a better reactor. For the external components, under the auxiliary power, I run, I'm running a brave reset just to get the extra HP recovery and max shield. This one I run the gold module drop increase modifier as well as the hyper shard rate increase modifier. For the sensor we're running defense with max MP and shield recovery out of combat. For the shield enhancement memory, this is picking up on gold drop rate and firearm proficiency. I do that because I'm always leveling a third weapon even though I don't use it just to get the experience for the mastery rank. And finally for the process we're running defense with max shield and equipment drop rate increase modifier. For the stats, pretty solid for farming. As you can see up here, where my HP, shield, and defense are. My skill power, my max MP, skill power, so forth and so on. For the descendant modules, I'll leave it like this for a second if you want to take a screenshot and skip right to the outro. All right, I appreciate you hanging around to go over the module breakdown. As you can see with the reactor, I've got Everything in use for the transcendent mod, I'm using absolute zero. For the sub module, I use shock punch, but you can use any one here. It does not affect the build at all. Chill specialist gives me 81.2%. Nimble fingers, skill cooldown at minus 25.6%. Increased HP, max HP at plus 218.5%. Technician gives me a skill power modifier at plus 50.8%. Iron defense, plus 89.8%. Skill power modifier plus 12.7%. Skill insight, skill critical hit rate at plus 115.4%. Emergency measures, skill critical hit rate plus 64.6%. And skill critical hit damage plus 27.7%. Skill effect range at plus 92.3%. Front lines with skill critical hit damage at plus 64.6%. And skill critical hit rate plus 27.7%. And finally, from a one gold, I'm using MP Collector. This build is pretty solid, and she's very tanky. If you think there's a model that could be swapped out to make it better, by all means, please leave a comment below because we would love to hear it. As always, I do appreciate you watching this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell, leaving a like, and a comment below what you think of the video or what you'd like to see in future videos. I'd also like to see a comment of what you think you can do to make this build better. If you'd like to catch me live, I am live on Twitch on Wednesday and Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern and Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. I also have a Discord. There's a link in the description below. You can join that and ask questions there as well. Now that you have a solid farming build for Ultimate Fiesta, you should check out this video on a great way to farm code breakers and analyzers.